Josh Alpert, PGA Golf Professional with Good Swings Happen Junior Golf Academies and Precision Golf Centers, and welcome to your SEGA Swing Tip. I find that high handicappers and low handicappers alike have problems with very basic chip shots. I'm just going to show you a couple things that can help you hitting the very basic chip shot uh, on the edge of the green. What I like to do is, is use two clubs with students. I have one club that's more high lofted, sand wedge, lob wedge. I've chosen a sand wedge here and I'm going to go with a pitching wedge. Some players prefer nine irons or even a lower lofted club. I'm here with my 56 degree lofted club, sand wedge. I'm going to go ahead and land it at the first cone, which is one third of the distance to the second red cone. And I'm going to go ahead and play this like I play every golf shot. Ball off my back foot, hands and weight slightly forward, rhythmic swing sweeping the grass. And if I land the ball one third of the way, it's going to then roll to the second cone, which is two thirds of the way. I'm now going to take my pitching wedge, the exact same motion, exact same setup, consistency in how I approach this shot every single time with a pitching wedge. Ball off my back foot, feet close together, hands forward, weight forward, slightly open to target, small rhythmic swings, landing it at the exact same target, and then the ball rolls to the next target. In this regard, I've made chipping simple. I'm learning a very basic setup position. I'm making small rhythmic swings and working on landing the ball a distance, understanding how far it goes after it lands there, and it'll allow me to hit a lot of different chips with a very, very simple motion and a small amount of swing thoughts. Thanks for watching. I'm Josh Alper, PGA Golf Professional, and keep on the lookout for SEGA Swing Tips.